on the same subject that every year you have to hire new teachers for the fall year. Last year there was controversy because you were hiring new teachers and then you uh, uh, dismissed some in the uh, layoff for budget reasons. Where are you this year in terms of hiring teachers going forward? Are there teachers out there listening who might want to work for the school system? Will there be openings? Are there openings? There will be openings. Uh, exactly how many have yet to be determined. We have to wait to see how many teachers retire and resign, how many teachers decide not to come back. I think that f people are feeling uh, that D.C. is a very attractive place for the fall, particularly because in a lot of other school districts, they're laying off teachers. Uh, Furloughs issue in Montgomery County right, will be talked about they're, shortly. They're rolling back uh, pre-negotiated raises and that sort of thing. And we're probably one of the only districts in the country where teachers teachers are going to be seeing these kinds of massive raises, so I think that makes us more money. attractive, absolutely, as a city. Um, so we are anticipating that we could hire uh, up to 400 teachers uh, this fall, again, depending on how the numbers shake out. Um, and what we're hoping to do is avoid the the uh, difficulties of last year. No layoffs in October this year. <laughs> Hopefully right. no layoffs well, if I can in October. Raise, if I can raise another issue, uh, we're coming up on the end of the school year, and this is the first school year that you've used your, the new impact evaluation system. And, uh, can you say what that is in a sentence or two? It's, well, it's a, it's a new way that the, the, the chancellor can feel free to explain, but it's a new way to assess how teachers are doing, whether they're doing they're good teachers or bad teachers or need, need some improvement or they're very, very good. And um, this is really a cornerstone of what you've what you've been trying to do. Can you sort of say how that's gone? How many how many at the end of the day, how many teachers are you finding are not are need to leave the system? So the the system overall has uh, been pretty well received in the district uh, by our teachers, mostly because it goes a really long way in making expectations clear for what we think good teaching and learning looks like. And that's something that a lot of our teachers had been asking us for is, tell me what you want to see. Uh, it's not a perfect uh, model by any stretch of the imagination. So what we've been doing over the last couple of months is we've been holding focus groups with teachers. In fact, we've held uh, a about 75 of them, and we're surveying teachers to ask them about what modifications can be made to impact to improve it for next year. We're getting some really, really good feedback from teachers on that, and we think next year it's going to be even stronger than this year. Is, we, listen, is any teacher gonna, at you know at this point, one year into this process, um, uh, at risk of losing their job because they're a bad teacher at this day? So I don't, Due to that I don't process. like to say bad teacher because Excuse me. there are a lot of Under, nice people. Underperforming. All right. So we say ineffective. Ineffective. Sorry. Uh, I forgot my, my euphemism. Yes, there are, there are teachers who have been rated as ineffective. And uh, depending on how the rest of the year plays out, teachers who are ineffective, uh, according to the impact model at the end of the year, uh, may be terminated from the system. Okay.